Welcome to Massive Open Online Certification Course. I am Dr. Rajiv Mishra of Department of Computer Science, Indian Institute of Technology, Patna. I am offering a MOOC course on distributed systems. Distributed systems definition. A distributed system is a collection of independent entities that cooperate to solve the problem that cannot be individually solved. The distributed system in contrast to centralized system is also defined as a collection of computers that do not share a common memory or common physical clock that communicate by message passing over the communication channel and where each computer has its own memory and runs its own operating system. Typically computers are semi-autonomous and are loosely coupled while they cooperate to address the problem collectively. Now the applications of distributed computing are many and in many different fields or areas it is being applied and also is developing based on the newer challenges and newer challenges based on the new technologies which are coming up we are now uh, being addressed into a distributed computing. Some of the applications are in mobile system cellular network uses the principles of distributed computing to provide the services to the customers. Sensor networks will provide the earth sensing, healthcare monitoring kind of applications in ubiquitous and pervasive computing, Internet of Things, RFID, Tax, Apple Watch, all these are the examples of the applications of distributed computing. Peer-to-peer -peer computing, here we have the Bitcoin application, that is the digital money, BitTorrent, Napster, GNU Tela and Cord. Intrusion detection, ad hoc sensor networks are the applications of distributed computing in the field of distributed data mining. Now there are some applications in the grid computing. Now in cloud computing also, we can see the presence of distributed computing principles like in Amazon EC2, EC3 and Microsoft Azure. In data centers, if you see Google data center applies the principles of distributed computing. Now security in a distributed system is widely used in the payment gateways and whenever the online transactions are happening that is the Kerberos protocols, SSL protocols and so on and many other applications. Some of the examples of distributed systems which you normally use are shown here in the form of these icons. Now in spite of Big uh, companies like um, Microsoft uses uh, the principles of distributed computing in Azure that we have already seen, Gmail, Amazon, Spark and so on. Now one example I will try to take which is called IRCTC which you use in booking the railway tickets online. Now this particular online railway reservation seems to be a uh, very, very uh, complicated application of a distributed system when it comes to a Tatkal reservation. Tatkal means so many number of users simultaneously at the same point of time in a very short span of time wants to book a ticket. And ticket booking involves two different applications, their cooperation, their coordination collectively to give you the ticket in the Tatkal reservation. For example, the banking system and the railway reservation system together they cooperate to give you a ticket. And in Tatkal reservation you will see that not many, not all people are successful in getting the reservations done and the reasons which are given as link failure is not true, is basically scrutinized and need to be understood by the people and also the customer want to know about it. That understanding requires the principles of distributed computing that we are going to cover up in this part of the course. Now besides this, lot of startups are also coming up which uses the distributed system that is also shown here in this part of the slide. Now as far as the course overview is concerned, this course will provide an in-depth understanding of fundamental principles and models underlying the theory, algorithms and system aspects of a distributed computing. Few emerging topics such as peer-to-peer -peer computing, distributed hash tables, Google file system, Spark will also be covered for, the, for its significant impact. This course will help the students, senior undergraduates and graduates and research scholars 
or basically welcome to take this course and to explore the theory of distributed computing which is very different from the centralized computing. The course content goes like this, introduction to the distributed systems, basic algorithms in the message passing systems, leader election in the ring, distributed minimum spanning tree, models of distributed computation, causality and logical time, global state and snapshot recording algorithm, distributed mutual exclusion algorithm, distributed shared memory, consensus and agreement algorithm, checkpointing and rollback recovery and the case studies are distributed hash table, peer to peer computing, overlay graphs, Google file system, SDFS and MapReduce, introduction to Spark and introduction to, to the sensor network, textbooks two textbooks we are going to use distributed computing by Sam Kalyani and Mukesh Singhal, distributed computing by Atea and Jennifer Welch. One reference book also is uh, included in this course is the distributed algorithm by Nancy Lynch. Thank you.